Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another base which has nothing to do with combat and is more a decorative structure for you to use in survival mode just to well act as a point of interest or you can refit it to fit all the stuff you need for survival mode like the survival kit, an assembler, refinery and use it as a base of operations. But this is the solar windmill which is this thing sitting right behind me which features multiple moving parts where this dark grey part on the top there will spin around to align the solar panels with the sunlight and these solar panels themselves will alter themselves make sure they can maximise the amount of sunlight hitting them in order to keep this thing nice and powered. So pressing F10 and find this in spawn menu the solar windmill is 581 large blocks using the automatons decorative block number 2, decorative block number 3, decorative block number 1, frostbite, heavy industry and spying to the future DLC packs. We've got here a tiny bit of information about it and they say that they got tired of looking at that old solar array in survival mode so they built this instead and there's a few very important notes about if you're using this in creative or in survival. So giving this thing a thumbs up, what we're going to do is move around towards the very front, have a quick look around the outside, have a tour of the interior, then we'll go and play around with the solar panels, changing the time of day so you can see how it all moves around and how each individual panel alters itself to the sunlight. So at the very front, this is what we get for the solar windmill and there's a bunch of rusted steel blocks that make up the main body of this building. We've got some steps to be able to walk up and go into that doorway that lead to a nice cosy interior with a bit of a sinister touch to it. Then we can see some railings all the way around the base to so walk around without accidentally falling off and hurting yourself. If we move around onto the side, this is all we can see around the base. Not too much to talk about there. But we do have a window along the main column to be able to peer in and out with an event at the back to suck an auction from these surrounding areas. Anyway, for the move all the way up and actually look at the solar panel itself, here we go, that's all it is. Straight in the middle of there, there's the camera to, to align itself to the sunlight. Some great use of our columns go all the way in between each solar panel with some unfinished steel blocks connecting it onto the solar panels in order to give it that overall great design. If we were to move a bit closer into the middle here, past that camera, we see some neon tubes just holding everything together, make a nice little square. Then come around over to this section, we see how it goes across to the main body of the building, where it eventually connects up to a rotor, be able to spin around like it is doing currently. If we were to move the camera all the way inside past these steel blocks, into this section we then see another rotor that allows it to spin all the way around, be careful 360 depending on where the sunlight is and depending on where you spawn this in. Putting my light on and looking all the way down, there we go there's a doorway to access to the access panel so you can come up here from the inside. Then turning it off moving all the way away and looking down it, there's the black top which just houses all the rotors and will spin around as it moves with the sunlight. When I come all the way down underneath this thing, here we go. That's all we can see down here, so not too much to talk about. So what I'm going to do now is just grab hold of my character, we come up and go inside. So opening up this, what we've got is a double door for an airlock. Now we can just close this behind me. There is no script controlling the door, so we will have to close the doors manually. Looking down, we've got some inset light blocks. Looking up, not too much to talk about. But opening up this, closing it, and facing towards the front, we've got some button panels to control everything about this station. Looking all the way up, we then got some gobbledygook of all the stuff controlling the solar panel array, as well as a secret disco system that we'll see a bit later on. Then looking all the way up, there's the door we saw from the very top, to be able to access the rotors just in case you do get damaged, or you want to hide up there from a potential enemy. Anyway, looking down and to the left, we've got a toilet, and then got a seat and table set up. Over to this side, we then have a vending machine, a kitchen block, and a dead engineer. Accessing his backpack and coming into this, we see we've got a notepad that says Lunch Thief. Well, opening this up, it says, Whoever keeps stealing my lunch, that spider meatloaf was laced with something magical. Enjoy your next company mandated drug test. And well, it looks like this poor engineer has been murdered. Yes, in here we've got nothing to access. I can always grab some time cola if you want to. So we're just going to check everything out there, collect it all up, and we drink them a bit later on. As for the button panels over here, what we've got is a simple toggle on and off. So once you spawn this into your world, you will need to press that to actually activate the solar panel system. And then down to here, this is going to be your disco system. By pressing this, we then get a bunch of flashing lights and the jukebox starts playing the funny music. Anyway, we're going to turn that off because that is rather flashy. And now it's time to jetpack all the way up past this window, up to the top here where we've got a doorway. So we can see how this whole section will move around with the rotors at the top. And we now just drop all the way down because it's time to actually watch this thing spin all the way around. And of course in survival mode, so it took a bit of damage there. Anyway, with the free camera, we're now going to come up to here and it's time to actually move the sunlight all the way around. So I'm just going to go and blindly select this. 
And now what we're going to see is Soda Pilot's going to now start to spin around, try and maximise the amount of power. But what's going to happen is that it's going to turn off because there's not going to be any sunlight. So I'm going to just come over to here and it should wiggle all the way around. And now, as you can see, the solar panels themselves are going to alter to try and maximise the amount of sunlight. Yes, they do not sit flush with the actual building. They will tilt themselves and will automatically tilt themselves as they spin all the way around. So as I sit here and let you watch this, you can see there that the top one's now going to rotate itself. Now the one coming up to the top will copy like the previous one. Yes, that is pretty much it what the solar windmill has to offer. It's a nice little structure to use in your world and you can use this as a base if you want to. There's plenty of steel blocks on the inside here that you can tear out and replace with other stuff if you needed to, such as you can replace this block right here, slap in a survival kit to respawn on, recharge yourself, then you can go and attach a few more things going all the way up there, depending on what you need. A refinery, an assembler, archery and tanks, O2H2 generator, all of those things can easily be fit into there, but not the actual full block refinery, that'll be a bit silly, but you can get the basic one in there and should serve you very well with what you need to do. And before I end this video, I can think of one more thing to do with this poor solar windmill. And that is, of course, bringing in some warheads, because I have not done this for quite some time. And I'm going to spawn this all the way up at the top here. Put one in there. And I suppose I can put one up there. And now we're going to detonate them and see what kind of destruction we can cause. I want to be out of this doorway to make sure I don't get randomly ejected out while in the third person camera. Into this, finding the warheads, activating that, starting the countdown, flying away, bringing the pre-camera back over, hiding the HUD. And now, any time now, it's going to explode, and we'll see what kind of damage we can cause this poor little building. And there we go. That was to be expected. And it doesn't look like there's too much remaining. Something did go flying off into the distance. Not sure what that part was. Down to here, what do we have? A little bit scrap from the top. One tiny section of a solar panel. And not much else. But yes, that is that for the solar windmill. It's a lovely little structure to use in your world. If you do want to use one of these in your world, there'll be a link to its description below for you to download and play around it yourself. I'd recommend you do. I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.